What time is it? Tawana time. T A W Y A N A. T A W Y A N A. Hi guys, I am back with another video. And today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be talking about lye, sodium hydroxide, and its role in soap. Um, and also, I'm going to be talking about how dangerous it is. <laughs> I know what dangerous it goes on your skin but before we get into all of that make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you know the next time I post a video and of course I got a plug you guys of course I gotta give a plug right so if you didn't know now you're gonna know that I am now selling body scrubs and I'm selling whipped body butter. If you haven't checked out the video on how I make my whipped body butter, go check it out. What are you waiting for? But yes, so if you're interested in those products, the link is in the description box down below. Also, your girl has on um, the pinkified lip gloss right now, if you guys can see that. But I have on this beauty right now. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very beautiful. That is also linked in the description box down below. So go ahead and check it out with um, the other lip glosses that I have too. So yeah, <laughs> we can now jump into this video. I get so many questions about lye, sodium hydroxide. Isn't that dangerous? They see it on the um, in the ingredients and they ask me isn't that dangerous for your skin isn't that cause burns isn't that corrosive isn't this a drain cleaner yes 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 and yes <laughs> that is very true lye is a dangerous chemical compound so to start us off what is lye Lye is a chemical compound of sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. It's a caustic soda, which is another word for it. People call it a caustic soda or a lye or sodium hydroxide. It can be used as a drain cleaner. It can be used in foods. Actually, some pretzels are made with lye. Go look it up, I'm not lying. <laughs> Get it? Okay, anyway. <laughs> And um, the main reason we are talking about it in this video is because it can be used to make soap. First, let's talk about the dangers of lye, okay? Because I understand that a lot of people don't really understand why I um, am so exaggerant, I guess, as far as being careful with lye. So let's talk about the dangers of lye. Lye or sodium hydroxide, it can burn. It can cause burns to your skin. So if it's in its crystal form or flake form, um, or if it's diluted in water, it can still burn you. It can burn you at any state that it's in. If a crystal was to get up under your skin or a flake was to get up under your fingernail, it'll burn you. So this is one reason why I am very um, expressive as to how dangerous lie is when I'm telling you guys how to make a soap or when I'm you know doing my soaping videos because I want you guys to understand that I don't want you to get hurt <laughs> and this can hurt you you know you could really burn yourself you could really cause harm to yourself and so I just want people to understand that because if I'm giving a direction I want to make sure that on my hands I know I let you know ten times that lie is dangerous. So if you get burnt, we get it. We see how it's dangerous, what it can do to you. If it's ingested, even if it's um, if you breathe it in, like if you breathe in the chemicals or if you breathe in um, like the dust or anything, a dust particles of the lie, it could be dangerous to your insides if you ingest it by accident, um, which is another reason why I be telling people don't be drinking and eating and nothing like that when you are making soap you never know what might happen. But um, if you ingest it, you could die. Seriously. Dangers of lie. Check that off the list. We know that it's dangerous, right? Now, let's talk about lie's role in soap. Soap. Soap goes on your skin. You expect me? You expect me to put something that you just explained as such a dangerous thing on my skin? wrong with you yes I understand I understand I understand if you don't understand <laughs> the role of lie in soap 
and the process of saponification of making soap then i understand why that can come off as like a uh, what's wrong with you like why would i do that so i want to help you guys understand the role of lye in soap so if you look up the definition of soap it'll tell you that soap is literally a compound of oils or fats and sodium hydroxide or another strong alkali that is literally what soap is that you can use to wash with in water that is what soap is so there is no such thing as soap without lye or sodium hydroxide there's no such thing as soap it's just simple fact any other product out there that does not use lye to make their soap is not soap that's a detergent go google the definition of a detergent too now that we've established that you cannot have soap without lye let's go over how soap is still usable and safe to use on your skin if it has lye in it once you combine the lye and the oils um, it has an exothermic reaction right and the chemical reaction or the reaction that it's having creates soap so as the oils and the or the fats and the lye mix together or sodium hydroxide as they mix together this chemical reaction is turning it into soap so it is converting from lye and oils to soap within the first 24 hours of making your soap almost if not all of your lye should be gone you now have a solid substance if if let me stress this part because yeah if you are properly making soap then this process this is how this process goes if you are properly properly making soap then the lie should be gone or 99% gone within the first 24 hours of making the soap. The reason why you let it sit um, and cure for so long is it continues to lose um, water, water weight, and it continues to harden and it continues to deteriorate the lye. But soap essentially is safe to use after 24 hours of making it so although you make your soap with the lime the end product has no lye or sodium hydroxide in it the beginning process like the making process is the most dangerous process when it gets to the customer the customer has nothing to worry about besides trying to eat it <laughs> I feel like that's the biggest concern the customer should have if your soap is made properly if your soap is made correctly, there should not be any lie by the time it gets to your customer. And the only problem that they should ever have about their soap harming them is them eating it. <laughs> Honestly, like for real. I said all of this to let you guys know that yes, I stress that lie is dangerous. And I know that a lot of my customers actually watch these videos. And so I don't want to scare you guys. That is literally like the, the stressing of how dangerous lie is and the cautions that the precautions that you need to take when dealing with lie um, and the lie batter because it is still active in the batter. Um, I stress that because I, that's really for the people who's making it, who aspire to make it, who are having plans on making the soap. That's really for them. It's not for my customers or people who are gonna buy the soap and use the soap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to worry. You don't have to be afraid that the lye is going to burn your skin or that the soap, sorry, the lye will burn your skin. <laughs> but that the soap is going to burn your skin because I, I have done my research and I make pretty good soap, might I say, you know what I'm saying, if I pat myself on the back. I think I know what I'm doing after about two or so years doing this and um, trial and error. Um, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so with that being said, I promise there are there is no lie left in your soap when it gets to the customer and they put it on their skin and they're washing with it that it is completely skin safe completely skin safe i really hope that that cleared up any 
suspicions you guys may have had. Probably like, mm, I ain't gonna use her soap because she talking about this stuff is dangerous. Why would I put her soap on my skin? And blah, 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 blah. I understand. I promise you, I understand how it can come off. But literally, my the videos that I make as far as like explaining my soap process, um, it's to be transparent for one because I really like to be transparent in the products that I make. And it's also to be informative to those who are aspiring to make soap. So just keep that in mind. Um, your soap is not gonna hurt you. Well, my soap is not gonna hurt you. I don't know about y'all. No, just playing. But uh, <laughs> if you use that recipe, that honey and turmeric soap recipe that I provided for you guys, um, link will be in the description box down below. But the honey and turmeric soap recipe, if you use that recipe, I can guarantee you that if you make it correctly and you follow the directions that I have provided you, you won't have any issues with the lye being left over in the end either. And you're gonna love that soap too. <laughs> so, yes, another plug. Check out the honey and turmeric recipe, guys. Link is in the description. It is well worth it, I promise you check it out thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not already like i said hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you know the next time i post a video make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that other people can learn about the safeties and the dangers and the thing that is right of lie in soap whether it's safe or not you know you gotta inform everybody so make sure you give this video a thumbs up so everybody else can see it too yeah make sure you guys check out the links in the description box down below of the products that i have for you guys the new products that i'm selling body butters and um sugar scrubs and my lip glosses check it all out thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you and i'll see you next video bye